It seems that the Catalonian president, uh, Puigdemont, is open to dialogue in the next few days, but also making it clear that he has a mandate. What are we expecting now? How are we expecting this to play out? Okay, so the language here is key. As you noted, the word unilateral did not come up. The 48 hours did not come up. This is crucial. He's definitely backstepping from making this unilateral declaration of independence. He's saying, look, I accept this referendum and the results as valid and they've given me a mandate. However, let's take it back to basics. This referendum was illegal. It's legal under the Spanish constitution and no one recognizes this vote. So we need to take away the spin from what he said. This vote is not valid. Therefore, the results cannot be valid. However, he's saying, I do accept this mandate, which he thinks, I mean, he thinks to think it's, it's, it's valid, and then suspend the results, which would obviously be a republic. So essentially what he's doing is, look, this is what I'm saying. I will continue if I have to, but at this point I'm stepping back. I'm not going to go for the unilateral declaration of independence, which we know Madrid feared, and now the ball is in Madrid's court. Now what we need to watch out for is the reaction the world for sure come out from Madrid today and see how they interpret this, because it may not be enough to trigger Article 155, because it was not a unilateral declaration of independence. He said, I accept the mandate, I think this vote was valid, and I think we can enact it, but he didn't actually do it. And as you can see, the parliament did not vote on anything. Again, back to basics, anything stemming from this referendum would be seen illegal by the Spanish central government and the courts. Maria, I want to ask you about the first part of the speech. Uh, the president there devoted a lot of time uh, to talking about the way this election was conducted. He had criticism for the police. He brought up the images that we all saw around the world of conflict between those who were voting, between different police forces uh, as well. But he maintained here that the referendum was conducted uh, fairly, that people did their best to get to the polls. He talked about 2.2 million people casting votes in favor of, of independence now on October uh, the 1st. How important was it for him to make that case, yes, to the Catalan people, but also to Spain and those who are watching around the world? I get that, and I have to tell you, you know, I've been covering the story for years. But we need to keep in mind and, again, take a lot of the spin out. The two million votes, essentially, that's the number of votes that we've seen throughout. You know, when this was framed as a referendum in 2014, the regional election, again, framed as a referendum 2015, and then the results that we saw, obviously, in the October 1st uh, referendum. Again, when he said there was violence and polling stations were closed, that's a fact. I mean, we saw that. I saw it firsthand. I was at a school that was essentially shut down. Mm. However, I do think we need to take the spin out a little bit. In fact, was it a valid vote? A lot of people will tell you it did not comply and meet the standards of a normal vote. And by that, I have to say, A, voter registry. A lot of people could not vote. Essentially, they were told, look, go to a different polling station. You're not registered there, but you can actually vote. Again, an hour before polling stations opened. They were told, look, if you don't have a ballot paper and you don't have a piece of paper, just print it from home and you can take it to a ballot box and just cast it as a vote. Again, that's not normal. A, a lot of go, you know, we also need to keep in mind that in terms of voter registry, the details, how valid those were, to make sure that there was one person won't vote. There's a lot of question marks. And it's a fact mm. when we say that this did not comply with the minimum required standards for a vote. So I think it's crucial to obviously take the spin out of it. Some things that he said were obviously legitimate. A lot of this, you know, this goes a long way back, 26, 26, when he talked about the government response and how the Catalan people right. have felt ignored for decades. That's true. But to say that the vote that took place since October the 1st is valid, that's not true. And it's not been recognized by anyone as, as a fact, not just by the central government, but the courts and also the European Union. And it all goes back to the fact that it was an illegal ballot. Again, as it is, the Spanish mm -hmm. constitution would, it prevails. It's a piece of law that matters the most.